Okay, where the heck am I? Let's get that out of the way here. Lacey, how you doing? All right, let's go ahead and take a look. Um, good job. Can't Don't judge a book by its cover. Now, listen, I think that you understand Rebus, but I think right now you're condensing this a little bit too far. So basically what you're doing is you're expressing ideas using pictograms and ideograms and not phonetically assisting the viewer into enunciating and pronouncing the words until they get what the phrase is saying okay so basically here this is just this is too condensed um so you're saying judge and don't so don't judge and then you just have an image of a book pointing to the cover so but where, where is don't don't judge so where is a book by it you're just saying don't judge book and cover so there's some that's a little misleading right there now remember you you want to to be a truly successful rebus you would have to this the person would have to be able to figure it out with no knowledge of the actual phrase so this one is, is a little confusing and think keep that in mind when you're working your rebus because i think to a very high degree that's going to um uh, determine the success of the rebus so just think that the viewer has never heard this phrase before and and allow and assist the viewer to phonetically enunciate the, the 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 idea in order to form the words that make the um the saying okay i think this is probably the best um so far oh by the way before i get into number two three four five and six i want to mention that when you see the word sketches you always want to sketch. Go straight to sketches first, Lacey. It's expected in the industry, and, and when you start practicing professional graphic design, you'll probably and more than likely be requested and required to submit sketches. I know I like to see sketches first as a creative director. Um, I, I, it, for my designers at, in my firm, I, I, I don't allow, I, I, all of my designers start with sketches first. Now we go over the sketches in our in our group meetings and we decipher the, the best way to go from there. We never, ever go straight to digital depiction of ideas, ever. It's it's the problem in dip, going to digital depiction of ideas is it's just too difficult to change gears and to change ideas and to change. So in other words, in our meeting, we would go like this. We would say, if these were drawings, we could just immediately say, okay, so let's say um, add a book to the cover. So the, the designer would just sketch something out really quick and say, okay, this is what my solution would be here. And then we look at it and say, okay, it sounds feasible. That might work. Let's go ahead and introduce that to your sketches and introduce that, that into your um, forthcoming digital uh, mockups. Okay, so so definitely want to start in a sketch stage. I think it's really, really important for students to understand the importance of sketching as it re it's related to expeditious messaging, specifically in the case where you're you're presenting work to be um, uh, looked at by a creative director, an art director, another designer, in this case, our, our classmates, or even ultimately a client. Okay, so this one I think is great. Donut, judge, and then we need A. For, for a so a book just the letter a would work just fine so don't don't judge a book and then we need by its okay by its and then the cover of the book so i don't know how if you want to turn the book over and show it flat this looks like a towel or something um so i i, I really think that's the issue right there so don't judge a book and that's so we just need to 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 uh, uh visually depict or phonetically illustrate the enunciation of um, by its cover. Okay, these ones won't work. These ones won't work. Um, they're they're just too condensed. Okay, so don't not this one. It looks like a jury. So mm, I don't know a jury or a group of people. I'm not seeing judge in there. I'm definitely seeing judge in here. Okay, and then this one, I, yeah, I'm, this one is just too difficult to follow. I mean, it's it's not, I mean, basically what you're doing is you're trying to use uh, ideograms and pictograms to to express an idea as, a, as opposed to phonetically assisting the viewer into enunciating the syllables that make the words and the words that make the phrase. Okay, so in, in, in that regard, I think this is the most successful if we could just end this accordingly. I think this was, this is really, really excellent one so far. All right. Great job, Lacey. If you have any questions at all, please let me know. I'll be glad to make any necessary clarifications. Thank you so much for sharing your work.